Hiya once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Got this laptop here. Check out what this does. So I'll go ahead and power it on. Let it boot up. Windows 11, looks like a Windows 11 boot there. Then what do we have right here? This says, something happened and your pin isn't available. Click to set up your pin again. You go to set up my pin. And it comes back to the same exact thing. So we're going to see if we can clear that up. You hit it again. It says search for app in the app store. You need to install an app for this task. Well, first of all, if you click yes, it just goes back to that. I couldn't go to the App Store if I wanted to because this got in my shop. And I haven't connected it to my internet because I can't even get into Windows. So that's, that, that won't make a difference anyway. So let's try a few things and see if we can't clear this up. From this point, we are going to enter automatic repair. How to do this is that we're going to shut down the PC. And then we're going to power it back on. And while the splash screen is going on, we just shut the PC down, interrupting the load. You do that a couple of times. After a couple of times of doing that, your PC will enter automatic repair mode. Preparing automatic repair. Let's see if she's got any restore points here. Troubleshoot. Advanced. System restore. Oh yeah. And as you can see, we do have some system restore points here. A few of them. That is from quite a few days ago, so possibly before she started having this issue. So we are going to go ahead and select the latest one, the one that's the oldest. It's not old by that much, but and let's see if this system restore works. And it's initializing. Let's let that run through and see what happens. Okay, and as you can see, system restore has completed. We'll just restart the computer and see if that cleared it up. Okay, now as you can see, uh, we have a, a place to put our PIN number in. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's try our PIN here. Yeah, it looks like we might be loading into Windows. Let's check it. Well, 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 what do you know? System, rest system restore completed, and that got us in. Yeah, and it does look like here there's some malware on the computer. There's a top toolbar up here. That's a definite sign of malware. This is why it's so important to, to enable system restore on your Windows 10 and 11 computers. By default, for whatever reason, Microsoft does not enable System Restore. Ah, and look what I see here too. Ultra Viewer, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wonder when that was in store. Oh, here comes some Norton coming up. So I'm not going to connect this to the internet. So in Windows 11, down into the search bar, just type in System Restore. And up pops your recovery options. There's one that says create a restore point. Click on that and that will open up the system properties that have your system restore here available. You want to enable it. 
we can click on configure we make sure that system protection is turned on again that's off by default windows 10 and 11 really don't understand why you can set whatever max space you want to store as many restore points as you want you really don't need that many at least have it on to its minimum at the very least and then right down here you can create a restore point and you can name it I'm going to name this one new hit create and that is going to create me a restore point for this computer having system restore enabled just save this person both time and money there you have it Tim with Tim's computer repair see you soon